So uh, this is the solution for uh, question three on homework number four. I already posted the videos for uh, solutions of questions one. And so we are giving C, which is equal to I plus 2P plus uh, 3P squared plus 4 by Q. PQ and D is equal to four I plus three P plus two P squared plus T Q. So now uh, these are two as you know, circulant matrices based on the shift matrix P. Okay? So if you want to write them in details, let's write them, write, let's write them in details first. Which means here, what are we going to have in diagonal gaps? We're going to have ones. Because we have I, right? Then we have two P, so we're going to have two. Two's here. Then we have three P squared, we have the P's here. And we have four. And all what is left is to complete this matrix, okay, such that it becomes uh, a circular matrix. So this is C, and D is the following. So we have four in the diagonal because we have four I, three P. So we have three, three. And 2p squared because the ones will be here and the p squares. And you have 1. And of course, I complete. So I have 1, 1, 1. I'll have 2 and 2. And I have uh, 3. Okay? So this is C and D. So what is asked here is to show, we'd like to show that we have F inverse. CF times F inverse DF is equal to F inverse CD. F, which should give you the product of the Hagen value matrix of T by the Hagen value. Value, uh, value matrix of D, which is equal to the eigenvalue matrix of C. Okay. The first step here is to determine what are the eigenvalues of C. So according to the formula, what did it say? It says that, for example, here, uh, it would have the lambda 0 of C would be the sum, that's the sum of these components of the C's, C0, C1, C2, and C3, okay? Then, jumping on the next eigenvalues, you will introduce the W. So we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. This is the first eigenvalue, which is 10, okay? In other words, what did we say? We said it's written as C0 is plus C1 plus C2 plus C2. Okay, go back to the lecture notes and split it written. Oh, now, what is the next eigenvalue? Lambda 1 of C is going to be equal to C0, okay, plus C1W plus C2W squared plus C3W cubed. So it's going to be equal to 1 plus 2w plus 3w squared plus 4w Okay? We get back to uh, what is the value of w, of course. It's easy to guess. Now, let's complete this. Lambda 2 of c would be c0. Now, all of the, the, the difference here is that this index will multiply the powers here. Okay? So you'll have 
c0, which is 1, plus 2w squared, plus 3w4, plus 4w6. Okay. And the last eigenvalue, because it's a 4 by 4 matrix, is going to be 1 plus 2w cubed plus 3w6 plus 4w9. Okay. Is that clear, guys? Okay, so remember, does it say the formula says that the w's every lambda k is equal to what? To the sum from k equal to 0 to the size, which is n minus 1 of c k, c index, uh, it should be, it should be, it should be, it should be, okay? It should be C I, okay? and you're going to have W to the power I by 2K. So I, okay. I to K, something like this, something close to this, okay? or something close to this. Okay? You go back to the slides if you want to do this. So you can take a snapshot of this if you want to follow. I'll, I'll add another, another, another board, okay? So let me now continue. So now, what is the W, in fact? W, as you know, is e to the power 2 pi i over n. What is n here? It's 4. So basically, it's e to the power i times pi over 2, which is, in fact, just r, okay? Which means, in other words, that w squared would be equal to i squared, negative 1. w cubed would be minus i, and w4, uh, minus i, yes, minus i, should be minus i, and w4 should be 1, okay? So, of course, this is periodic, so if you have in 4, 5, and 6, 5 would be i, and w, 6 would be uh, minus 1, okay. okay? Now, if you want to write, of course, the eigenvalues of t, you're going to have lambda 0 of t, which is going to be, now I can do it much quicker, it's going to be also 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, the sum of the coefficients, first of all, which is going to be also equal to 10, same as in C. Now, lambda 1 of D is going to be equal to 4 plus 3w plus 2w squared plus w group. And I guess you, you understood the pattern. You can easily reproduce it. Okay, so we're going to have 4, 4, plus, plus, here, the next one will be 3, W squared, and here we're going to have 3, W, Q. Here we're going to have 2, W, 4, and here, uh, 2, W, uh, 6, and here, Okay, so these are the eigenvalues of C and D. Now, if you do the product, so up to now, I found the lambda C and the capital lambda C, which means now I have, what do we have? We have lambda C is known and lambda D is known. Okay, we just have, we have to just black, to plug the W, W squared, W3, and W4 in their respective positions to get the uh, the respective uh, values for each one of the eigenvalues. Now let's compute CD. So if you do the product CD, you get the following matrix. In fact, you get, of course, also a circular matrix as per the property of the uh, property of the uh, of the circular matrix product. 
So you have 22s here. You have 24 again. And you have 30 upstairs, which means you should complete here by 30s. Uh, 24, um, 22. Okay. So this is for the CD matrix, which means that you can easily get. Of course, this is circular matrix, which means it is written like uh, 24i plus 22p. Uh, it's better to extract the coefficients you need here. Uh, 24p squared, and because you need them immediately in the eigenvalues, 30p. Okay? Which means that you can easily write down now the, uh, uh, the eigenvalues of CP. This guy is going to be the sum of all the coefficients. So 24 plus 22 plus. 24 plus 30, and it's going to be not by chance equal to 100. And you, as you see, this is equal to lambda 0, 0 of C times lambda 0 of D. Okay? 10 by 10. Okay? Lambda 1 CD is equal to how much? It's 24 plus 22 W. And it goes, as you know, plus 30 at the end, 30 up to Okay? For example, this guy is going to be equal to what? It's going to be it's also equal to lambda 1c times lambda 1d. Okay? Because it's equal to 1 plus 2w plus 3w plus 4w okay. multiplied by w, uh, lambda 1d, which is 4 plus 3w plus 2w squared plus w3. Okay. So, so at the end of the day, you can do them one by one. That is, of course, a simplification because of the fact that when you plug in the Ws, you have uh, W6, which is equal to W2, and W5 is equal to W1. So you can put them on, uh, all, and you're going to get the following. If I write it down here. It's going to be equal to, when you multiply here, you, you detail. So I'm just detailing the two first. Huh? So you get 4 plus 3W when you extend plus 2w squared plus wq. So this is the first, of course, extension. Uh, plus 8w plus 6w squared plus um, 2w4. And it goes like this. Plus 2w4. 2w4, what is it? This is 6w squared. 4w4. This guy is 4w4. And the uh, last one is 2w3. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 2w3. Before. Did I miss one item? Yes, I missed one item. Here uh, should have been 2w times uh, 6w, 6w squared, and I have 4w3. I missed 4w3. Yes, plus 4w3. Anyways, guys, you do the math, you get exactly what you intend to find. You sum up all the constants to get to 24 plus 22 that the correct for w squared plus 30. So you can verify them and check them one by one. That is by dance. Okay. So that was basically uh, the, uh, the the solution for this exercise.